In the halacha of the day, we're holding now the halachas of tzitzis, or I should say we're continuing the halachas of tzitzis. See if you'd base. When the Torah refers to tzemer wool, or when the Puskim do, they usually mean sheep's or ram's wool. A pious person should not recite the bracha over a talus in which the wraps, in other words, the threads are made of wool, and the wolf and the wolf threads are made of cotton, silk, or the reverse. That the wolf threads are made of wool and the wrap threads are of another material. Because some pus can maintain that even since it's made of wool, only exempts a garment made of the same material. Similarly, over a talus made of silk and the tzitzis that are made of wool, a brach is not said, but rather you should first recite the bracha over a woolen talus and wrap yourself with and remove it the woolen talus and then wrap yourself with a silk talus. However, if the tzitzis of the silk talus were also made of silk, you may recite the bracha. Tzitzis of silk are not common in our countries because tzitzis made must be spun for the purpose of tzitzis. If the tzitzis are partially made of silk and partially of wool, it is even uh, worse, in other words, more questionable, and tzitzis should not be made in this manner.